Hi there, I'm Deacon Eric Cooley, and I'm assigned to the Church of St. Peter in North St. Paul in the Archdiocese of St. Paul in Minneapolis. In our parishes, we all have parishioners that are now aging, and many of them are residents in senior care facilities. And it can be a challenge to meet their care needs, their spiritual care needs, uh, particularly those one-on-one -on -one visits. Uh, we have limited clergy time, we have limited volunteers. Sometimes communication can be really challenging. Uh, you know, HIPAA laws, which are designed to protect our privacy, oftentimes become barriers to that communication. And so I was trying to find a way that we might be able to better meet their care needs, but looking at it from a standpoint uh, beyond a parochial view. So looking at it from a multi-parish dynamic. So to begin this conversation and to begin uh, looking at how we could do this, I chose three different parishes. Um, who had parishioners at three different facilities, the same three facilities. And I sat down and I interviewed each of the pastors, and I also interviewed staff at each of the care centers. And I asked questions like, you know, what's going well? What are some of the challenges? And my favorite thing was to ask them to dare to dream a little bit. Uh, what would high caliber spiritual care look like for Catholic residents in these facilities if there were no barriers? You know, if we had a hundred clergy assigned to a parish, if we had a billion dollars to spend on this ministry, if we had uh, every, you, you, whatever it is, what would it look like? So I took all this information and I looked for trends, things that uh, both parishes and care centers were looking for. And it came as no surprise. Uh, we had things like better communication, uh, better materials, uh, some education materials that they could use uh, at the care centers because quite frankly, many of the staff members uh, from the frontline workers all the way through uh, the management don't really understand spiritual care or what it means uh, to have the sacrament anointing of the sick or what the Eucharist really is all about. And so having those materials uh, were really important. The third thing and probably the most important thing that everybody identified was being able to find uh, some better ways to have more hours to meet with residents, uh, the Catholic parishioners, uh, especially those one-on-one -on -one visits. Um, so not, not just the group settings where we have mass or we have word and communion services or the rosary or Bible study, but in particular, those one-on-one -on -one visits with parishioners. Everybody wants more of those. Everybody wants to be able to do more of those. And so I was looking at, well, how can we do this from a multi-parish perspective? And so um, the scenario that I came up with is this. Uh, so let's say that you had, um, you know, you have five residents, uh, five parishioners across these three different facilities, right? And each week you're trying to, um, you're trying to go in and you're trying to meet them. You're trying to see if you can't uh, visit with them. Okay, so if you if you figure that there's 20 minutes of visit and um, it's 15 minutes in between each facility, right? So to make those five visits in a week, uh, it would take you about three hours and 10 minutes to do those visits. And as you can see by the arrows here, you're driving back and forth. And if all three parishes have the same situation, there's a lot of travel time here. And so I dared to dream and thought a little bit about it. What would happen if instead of trying to do this as individual parishes, we worked collaboratively? And what I came up with is this. What if instead of going to all three of those facilities each week to visit my parishioners, instead, what if each parish went to one facility and visited all of the Catholic parishioners there in that facility? And then the following week went to the next one and the week after the week uh, to the other one and just kept on the cycle. So what happens is we cut down on our travel time. We still make those same five visits. Our parishioners are visited every week and we have contact with our parishioners each month. But instead, it only takes us two and a half hours. And so over the course of that month, we still make those same 20 visits, but we do it in two hours and 40 minutes less time. So to facilitate this, uh, we obviously need some better communication between parishes and the facilities. And so a way to, uh, to tackle that 
is to use a shared spreadsheet. You could certainly use a shared Excel document. I used a Google Sheet. And you know, if we get permission from um, the parishioners themselves uh, to share this information, it doesn't have to be anything uh, too personal. It can simply be a name and a room number. And if we put this on a shared sheet, we could actually track how many visits we're making. So this is just one way that we can try to tackle um, collaboratively working to meet uh, the spiritual care needs of our aging parishioners.